Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my let's play of The Witcher 2. Um, where we last left off, we could have done all of the side quests I have found. So now we head for the uh, Karen quest. And where exactly is this? It's over there. Okay. Not many monsters out anymore. So, so I'm going to get the herbs to uh, craft instead of uh, monster parts. Wow, so they actually have rain? Hot dang. I'm in surprise they have elemental uh, changes that's surprisingly deep so apparently Quinn is now more effective probably if um, well, what am I thinking if used to counter I don't have that particular one yet. Come to Papa. Oh, look at that. It actually does do it. Even though, uh... I don't have that upgrade yet. Here, hit me. Hit me. I dare you. Boop. And you're dead. On. Thank you. Rags. Just what I want. Oh! 50 monies. And I know they're orange. Uh... Hey, Tris. I wonder what's left of that wreck Cedric mentioned. If the Karen attacked the boat, it's not likely to be much. We're looking for traces of the beast, not boats. I'm following you. Oop. Do 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 do. Hero. I'm a wooden the race. See those footprints? Yeah. Strange place for an evening walk. Unless you're looking for adventure. The massacre in Rivia. It came back to me, I remember. The angry mob murdering non-humans, a young boy with a pitchfork. Anything else? Death, or a state close to it, I'm not sure. I felt life draining out of me. Uh I was there. I arrived a moment later. Too late. Don't worry, Triss. They're only memories. We have bigger problems to tackle now. Something tells me that in recovering my memory, I'll find out a lot about what we're dealing with now. Okay. How's it living with Roach's soldiers? Splendid. I know every shit joke that anyone's ever thought up. Plus, I've learned how to burp out the official title of the Emperor of Nilfgaard without reaching for beer. Shorty's told me about his 16 children, all named after Temerian troop divisions, and I know his nickname has nothing to do with his manhood. Nice to know that you care, though. Glad to see you in a good mood. I think I actually like them. They're good people. One of them even proposed to me. Who's the brave man? <laughs> Sorry, that's a secret. I don't like Here that. I thought Roach's boys had an ounce of respect for me. Telling me something. 
Well, hello. Ah. Bombs away. I'd like do nothing. Oh, the drowners are definitely a little bit more powerful. Nice to run into some old friends. Almost brings a tear to your eye. Let's examine the traces of the Karen and get out of here. Drowner Brain, an old friend of mine. The ram stuffed with sulfur and a dead cobbler, straight out of Eastern legends. Not good enough for the Karen, though. Isn't this all like mucus? Okay, that must be what I'm trying to loot. Wait a minute. What are you going to do? Cast a simple diagnostic spell. It should answer a few questions. This monster's sick, Geralt. It's dying. How much time does it have left? A few years. Perhaps a decade and change? Too long. What's wrong with it? Any information could be useful. The diagnostic spell showed that some of the cells in its body have mutated. What makes you think it's dying? I mean, I'm a mutant. The mucus cells I diagnosed are very similar to cancer cells. In some ways, they're more effective than healthy cells, but they're out of control. They converge to create a red tissue. Very unpleasant. The poor thing. But you brought up an interesting point. Want to know the core difference between mutants and non-mutants? Of course I do. The changes made through alchemy and magic in your body would require thousands of years to develop on their own. This development would result from genetic errors that would cause your body to adapt, become a more efficient organism, effectively mutate but over a very long time. When this development occurs over millennia, across multiple generations, we proudly call it natural selection, evolution. When it occurs quickly, in a single organism or a few representatives of a species, we frown on it as mutation. And here I thought you liked me. What else? The Karen's highly venomous. Any ideas for an antidote? Your witcher's metabolism should neutralize small doses of the toxin. But if I were you, I wouldn't rely on my mutations alone. An Ostmark potion should do the trick. I know the herb, but haven't the faintest where I might find it around here. I need to think, figure out how I want to fight the Karen. Maybe I won't need the potion. Do what you will, but don't say I didn't warn you. Sheila might be eager to get this done, but before you go see her, ask some of the locals about Ostmark. You could try Cedric. Here's the formula for the potion. I need to take care of some things. Manage without me for a while? Sure. See you. Can I go with you? I want to go with you! A long way down. Mandrake.
Walking, walking, walking. Oh, the graveyard. Don't want to be going this way. Cedric, I need some Ostmark. It's a rare variety of moss, grows underground. I know it. There are some caves to the south, deep in the woods. If Ostmark grows anywhere in the area, it will be there. Okay. Let my swords go. Oh, I keep hearing wolves, but I never see them. Really? Damn monsters. Come here, you. Hi! Fall back, fall back. Drown our contract now. Essence of water. Dang, there's a lot of them.
male enhancement. Oh, that's actually not half bad. Extra vitality never hurts. What the greater rot feed? Oh, you explode. Surely there's more than just the one. No, guess not. Mongoose. I didn't even need that. I have a ton of essence of death. What exactly does the mongoose give me? Holy cow! Resistant poisoning, 20,000%! I'm assuming that's like... What's close to an infinite amount? Hot dang. Wait, or go with Sheila? Oh, I should have read that, so apparently Oh Fighting mode, come on. Take that. I'm one shotting these guys now. How do I get more or less? That makes no sense. Okay, well, we'll see. Hopefully, uh, Sheila will still be fighting it. <laughs> she won't be in capped. Or something stupid. So I could have just created the mongoose potion. Wait, what? Hey, you guess what? I can throw stuff too. Okay, so that's what I have to do. Sword of the Blue Mountain. Bunch of crap. Um, Okay, that 
quest should be done. I don't know why it's not. Get my wrong sword for this. Come on! That is so much better. Okay, where is this exactly? Oh. In the town. I see. Oh, six. There actually is a time down there. Interesting. Maybe that's just six hours from now. I don't know. <coughs> is it in here or? Disperse. Go home. I spoke to th that fucker's only waiting for an excuse. One, how do you know? Held it by chance. Saw him walking through the port one night, talking to himself, that batty bastard. He mentioned a new order and a world for humans only. He laughed and shouted curses at the prison barge. The scum is up to something. Yorveth must sense it. He's doing everything not to provoke Laredo, but his Scoyatel might have a different opinion and less restraint. Hmm. Above the end, then. Don't try anything stupid. I probably will. You're becoming a problem, and we don't like problems. Are we fighting or not? <laughs> eh, whatever. Got a freaking zebra cat. It's a little like when I was walking by it. Up, 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 up. Talk to you, huh? Well, she's asleep. Finally scribbled notes.
do do do. Well, you know what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to cut the video off here. So thank you very much for watching and God bless.